What's up guys and welcome back to Pokemon Go and today we are doing a Pokemon Go story time. If you're new to this type of series, what I'm doing is I am telling a story while I do a mass evolve in Pokemon Go. So what I'll do is I'll tell part of a story, do an evolve, tell more of the story, do evolve. So today's story is the worst camping trip ever. <laughs> this, this was a horrible camping trip. Okay, so leading up to this, me and my buddy Brandon, my best friend in the world, if you're watching this, I love you. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to say a lot of bad things about Brandon, but he didn't mean anything any, anything wrong by this. Nothing directly bad at him, but the things that he made me do uh, or forget led up to a lot of the bad things that happened in this story. So what what's going on now is... Leading up to this camping trip, me and him were watching a lot of Bear Grylls, probably. A lot of Survivor Man type, you know, shows. And we're like, okay, we're going to go on a really super rustic camping trip, okay? We're going to, we're going to, you know, no electricity, no water. We're going to get hiking backpacks. We're going to sleep under the stars. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be men. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get to the first Evolve. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to use... A lucky egg right now because I just used like two lucky eggs recently and I actually don't have enough Pokemon to really benefit from using a lucky egg plus there's gonna be a lot of pauses in, in the story and it's gonna waste time on the egg so for right now I'm not gonna use a lucky egg but I am gonna involve all of these guys for you so the first one is an Ekans and this one's over 81% I'm pretty sure let me see Yep, simply amazes. I don't have the exact exact stats, but yep, pretty good one. And the best move set for this guy is Arbok's best move set is looks like Gunk or Bite and Gunk. So no, not the best move set, but Arbok's worthless anyway. <laughs> yeah, Arbok's worthless anyway. Now also, if you guys have had a similar um, or another horrible camping story, definitely tell me. Camping's not for everybody, so a lot of people may be like, oh, you're crazy. Uh, but we used to go camping all the time at like, state parks and stuff, and it, it was always awesome. Okay, so back to the story. Leading up to this, we are getting supplies for this camping trip. Eventually, his brother and cousin... Uh, Brandon's brother and cousin said, yeah, let's go do this camping trip. It's going to be fun. They pick, we pick a super rustic place, okay? There's no running water, no electricity. There is a single porter potty in this place, okay? <laughs> like at the beginning of the park. That's it. So we're getting supplies. We're at like Walmart or something. We're getting supplies to go there. And I'm like, hey, Brandon, you know, he's rushing me out the door because he's so excited, you know? And I'm like, uh, let's grab our pillows. Oh, man, we don't need to, we don't need no pillows. Uh, let's grab my tent. No, we don't need a tent. How about we bring my, uh, you know, air mattress? No, dude, no, we don't need the air mattress. We don't need any of that stuff. So, so, so he's rushing me out the door. We leave. I don't have a pillow. We both don't have a pillow. We both don't have a tent. We both don't have any air mattress. We barely have any food. Like, I'm talking like, can I bring like canned goods, okay? Like, I went, to, we went to Walmart and I bought like a couple canned like beans or something like that, right? That's it. That's literally all we have, okay? And our clothes. I barely got my clothes before we actually left. So we go to leave, and uh, we're on our way. And also, I remember this. Brandon was in such a rush that my car's better on gas, and he wanted me, wanted us to take my vehicle. I don't care about that, um, but we should have taken the hour to actually change the brake pads because I told him, I said, hey, my brakes need to be changed. Uh, Cause they were like getting close to the end of like having to be changed, and he was like, "No, nah, man, we're good." <laughs> so we go up there. By the time we got back, my my gear, my brakes were grinding so bad, it was ridiculous. It was it was ridiculous. So anyway, back to this. Um, I'm gonna leave it right there for now, and then back to this. We have a. All right, the next on the list is gonna be Haunter. Um, this guy's not over 81%, but I figured, you know what, he's strong, which, um, you know, makes him decently good. So we might as well just, we might as well just evolve him. So that's what we're going to do. 
into another Gengar. I only have one Gengar, so if this one actually has decent moveset, then it's it'll be better than the other one I have, I'm pretty sure. I don't think the other one I have is actually good IVs, so um, this is definitely an improvement of over what I have already. Shadow ball, okay. Oh, double shadow moves. Let's see what the best moveset is. Best moveset is Shadow Claw and Sludge. It's probably what, Sludge Bomb? Yeah, Sludge Bomb. And then we got next moveset. Shadow Claw, Sludge Wave, Sucker Punch. Okay, wow. It's the fourth best moveset is what that is, the one that is right there, so. Not very good. So anyway, we're on our way to this to the camping trip, right? Uh, we head out there, and it's in a place that's like seriously so remote that there isn't a person even there to actually like take the money for you to stay there. It's like done by the honor system. There's a post <laughs> by the porter potty or something that says like, "Hey, this is how much it costs to stay here. Put your money or check uh, in the slot, basically." And it's. <laughs> I still remember it and I was just laughing like we could just stay here for free and no one would ever know you know but anyway no we did pay it's not it's not that but anyway so we get to the campsite finally his cousin uh, Brandon's cousin and his brother are already there they're already set up and of course they brought everything they have food for like two weeks <laughs> they have uh, nice cots to sleep on above the ground super nice tent that they were both sleeping in you know they had they had an extra tent that had a rip in it that they were just using just to like you know throw their luggage and extra stuff into right so when we got there and we're like yeah we don't have a tent they're like you don't have a tent you know you don't have a pillow what the heck so i'm like oh my god brandon i cannot believe you did this to me i'm already like ah this is a huge mistake we should have taken the 30 minutes you know 20 minutes whatever it took to go back to my house to grab the air mattress to grab the tent to grab everything but no. So the plan is by this time is okay. We it wasn't that bad when we first got there. I was like, okay, this isn't isn't that bad. But as night started to fall, I started seeing we started seeing new bug species we've never seen before, okay? And there were so many bugs, okay? The, when you go to a place that's like not populated with anybody, the bugs rule the world there. So there's bugs everywhere, okay? Like we're loaded up with bugs, okay? <laughs> So, um, it's gotten to the point where there's so many bugs, it's just ridiculous, and I'm like, oh great, we're gonna sleep in a tent with a rip in it, the bugs are gonna be sleeping with us, whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. We, we stay the first night there, and now me and Brandon are laying in the spare tent, okay? The spare tent that isn't even supposed to be for sleeping, it has a rip in it, okay? So we're sleeping, bugs are getting in, whatever, we don't really care. I'm bundling up my clothes to make a pillow, because there is like we don't have a pillow and then also we're sleeping on the ground so it's super uncomfortable so a couple hours pass right uh as i'm trying to fall asleep now imagine this is my foot okay so this is my foot and i have a sock on okay i feel this no joke i felt legs through <laughs> through my sock okay you know climbing on me and I was like oh crap and I went to smack it right so I go to smack it I smack it away it goes boop and then it literally goes I don't think so and runs back and bites me in the ankle okay <laughs> I'm like this is 100% not a joke and I was like oh god you know like geez and keep in mind I am not scared of spiders okay even to this day I will just kill spiders if I see them no big deal you know I'm, I'm not I'm not scared of spiders but the fact that this was, you know, tent wide open, or I'm starting to get bit by stuff. I'm just like, you know what? Brandon wakes up and he's just like, oh, what the heck is happening, you know? And I'm like, dude, I just got bit by a huge spider, like huge. Um, uh, I showed him my, I like shined a light on it, showed him my ankle. There was two fang marks. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go sleep in my car. I go, you can do whatever you want. But because we're so ill prepared for this. That I'm just going to literally go sleep in my car now. And anybody who slept in a car, it's not fun, okay? Also keep in mind, this is the middle of summer. We cannot open up the windows because then all the bugs are coming in. So, you know, that like stale air and all that stuff that you have to breathe if you try to sleep in a car with like no wind, no air coming in. I mean, that whole thing. So, this trip was supposed to be like five days long or so. 
Um, it, we did not stay there five days. <laughs> like I can tell you right now, we did not stay there five days. Now we've got a Shelder, which Cloyster, if it gets double ice, is actually very effective versus Dragonite. Now this one is over 81% IV. Hopefully double ice and I'll be happy. Double ice will make me happy. Oh yeah, best move set. Oh wait, no, no, that's not the best move set. Best move set for Cloyster is Frost Bl uh, Breath Blizzard. I think I actually have one that does have that. Uh, this is Frost Breath Ice wi Icy Wind. Icy Wind is practically worthless. Um, so I will not be powering this one up, but it does. I would throw it against a dragon just to just to do some damage to it. So, yeah, kind of disappointing on that one. Okay, so the first night of camping was a disaster already. I slept in my car or whatever, right? The second night, it's during the morning. We're getting up. We're hanging out. We go fishing. It's actually kind of fun that day, whatever. We're, we're taking our – we, like, washing ourselves in the in the river that's close by, you know, and we're, it's all good. You know, we're like, okay, uh, we'll make the best of it type of thing. Well, when I talk about new bug species – I was making fun of it and calling it a spider centipede, but it wasn't a spider centipede at all. It was just something to make Brandon laugh. Um, basically, what it looked like was a, like a wasp and a scorpion, like mated and had a baby, and it was a flying scorpion. It was like a wasp with a scorpion tail. Okay, and not only that, the, the next night after that, it actually stung Brandon. Okay, Brandon was joking around. We were we, we, this is late at night. We we're going to sleep on the second day, and. We're sitting in the car goofing around or whatever, and he rolls down the window. It gets in. This scorpion wasp gets in and actually stings him in the arm, okay? I'm like, oh, man, this is... That sucks. We eventually get it out. We're freaking out, screaming, oh, my God, get it out of here, blah, 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 because we have no idea what it is. You know what I mean? It stung him. He screamed. I'm freaking out because I'm like, I don't want to get stung, too. So we eventually get it out of the car. We close the window and everything. I'm like, oh, man, that sucked, whatever. So we go to sleep the next morning. Brandon's arm is like all splotched up like there's a bite mark but then it looks like it looked like a bomb hit like around it like it was all red like around the area it was it was crazy I was like what because like we've been stung by stuff before uh, growing up or whatever and I think he has too and I don't think he's allergic to bees or anything and this stung this sting was like a bomb going off because like he was like oh that hurt oh my god and then the next day when we woke up it just looked like a disaster zone right there so I don't know if we stayed I don't know if we stayed an extra day or not I'm gonna continue with uh, the evolving slow poke um, this one's over 81% as well can evolve him hopefully I just did one recently and it had bad move sets hopefully this one has good move sets so yeah come on something good something good so best move set is water gun psychic, water gun water pulse. No, not the best, but still water gun is okay. I guess I'll have to try again. This one's in 82%. Do a Venomoth. So best move set for Venomoth is bug bite, bug buzz. Hey, there you go. Nice, that's actually good because those are good against uh, executors. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that that's that's a good one. Perfect move set. Good, good stuff. All right. Never thought I'd actually be excited about a Venomoth, but cool. Nice. Let's see what it is. Confusion, Poison Fang. So that one's a dud, even though it's 86. percent That one was not even close to as good. Um, this one was way far better wow so that camping trip was the worst ever because me and brandon ended up leaving two days early okay by the time we were done done with it we were just like you know what we're going <laughs> we let we left early because of trying to sleep in a car and then all this other stuff okay so now we got voltorb we'll look up his move set electrode Electrode's best move set is Spark Thunderbolt. Spark Discharge still okay, but as you guys know, a lot of electric types are weak in this game. So, yeah, probably not going to be the greatest. So yeah, we left. We left two days early. 
Um, I remember we actually surprised both of our girlfriends. I think it might have been his wife at the time. They didn't expect us back, so they were happy about that. We came home early. That was nice, but yeah, overall, it was it was the worst move, like camping trip. I've been camping since then, and obviously everything was okay. And last, and probably the least, to be honest, a 91 IV Zubat. This is probably going to be the one I save for Crobat. Golbat's best move set is Wing Attack, um, Poison Fang. Wing Attack, Poison Fang. That seems so weak, but sh sure, sure, okay. All right. <laughs> I guess that's all of them. Um, so yeah, that was the worst. It really, really was the worst. Um, I'll never become prepared again. I'll never listen to Brandon, and if he's like, hey, don't bring your tent, don't bring your pillow, don't bring your air mattress, you know? It's just like, no. <laughs> and Brandon, if you're watching this, there's no ill will towards you. I love you. Yeah, that is going to do it for the episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!